Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5, which is something I've been saying a lot recently. There is so much going on in this game. It is insane. Yesterday, we checked out the brand new customization and the brand new photo mode, which was super, super cool. But today is the day we have not one but two brand new cars. This is the easiest way to get a car. Pause your game, head over to my Horizon message center into the gifts, the 2022 Tavascan and the 2021 Fermenter. In today's video, we are gonna try both of these things out, check out all of the customization, and the developers actually told me the Tavascan actually has some unique new customization. Let's start off with this thing. I'm so hyped for the Fermenter. Let's go. I know usually we drive it stock. Nobody wants to see me drive around in a stock crossover. So I'm gonna do some upgrades. <laughs> we can engine swap it and toss in a turbo rally engine with one less cylinder. No, we're already all wheel drive. That's not bad. If we're on sport tires stock, why don't I toss on rally tires instead? Our PI only goes up by two, but we should get way better grip from those. So yeah. Yes. Then let's upgrade the tire size to get even more grip. That should be good. And let's toss on some wheels that are more expensive than the car. ADV ones. Very good. <laughs> and then we have some engine spacers. Oh, those actually are bad. Upgrade the brakes as well. Bro, this is going to be crazy in A class. Yo, look at it with race suspension. We can also get some weight reduction, bring it below 3,000 pounds. There is no way we're getting this thing in A class. So I'm going to call it there middle of s1 for our first vehicle 572 horsepower and less than 3,000 pounds last but not least before we hit the open road let's do a bit of painting to our cooper so i really like this matte black the black itself is actually really nice the matte blue is just kind of crazy looking Ooh, a yellow would be sick for this a bright in your face yellow oh that's really cool it is the spanish banana this this thing looks awesome! Cooper Fermenter with some anti-lag and some massive flames. I already know there's people out there who immediately will look at this thing and go, Ugh, for one of two reasons. Number one, it's a Cupra. I got a lot of comments on my video on Monday actually being like, Ugh, nobody asked for these Cupras. But then I also got a ton of comments from people being like, I love those Cupras, so you can't win them all. I got some other comments saying, Ugh, why would I want to drive a crossover? Well, I would argue when it looks like this, I would. The fact that this thing has an Audi RS3 engine under the hood is just so sick. What Cupra is doing is unbelievably cool. Cupra's essentially taking cars that should be, let's be honest, a little bit boring, but then just going, how can we make them very spicy? There is absolutely no reason for this thing to have an Audi RS3 engine, but the fact that it has an Audi RS3 engine is one of the coolest things I have seen. Also, it goes with the flames really well. Also, not gonna lie, that's insanely fast. It wasn't even close. I lifted off before we even got to the finish line. Maybe I should try to take the crossover crossovering, off-roading. How hard could it be? This will probably not go very well, but that's why you click on these videos because you like to watch me fail so you can feel better about your own ability. I know you. I know you well. How fast can you make a Cupra fermenter? We're near the top of S1 class. You have to remember, because we're running off-road race tires, our PI is going to naturally be a bit lower. But we've got over 800 horsepower now. We can get rally suspension on, which makes this car look ugly. Really cool. I would buy one. Not cool. Take it away. Are you kidding me? Nobody has uploaded a paint job for the Cooper yet. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to be the first. I really like my black roof. Oh my God, this thing in orange. Cooper, take note. Sell it like that. Sell it like that. You would sell a lot. Also, boys, I am officially the first person to make a paint job with this car. So uh, I am better than you. Am I? How fast is our off-road? Oh my God, look at the cars I'm racing. I'm racing a Bentley with an off-road body kit. That's a Lamborghini Urus. That was a Jag with a Tesla paint job on it. And a Land Rover Defender. AKA, I think I'm the only person who will finish this race and not break down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
but I will miss a checkpoint. The true test of the Cupra. Please send it. Even though we were super grippy in the actual race, for some reason, this is not grippy at all. Not even a little bit. I guess it's because the tires are actually quite skinny. It doesn't inspire confidence like this. Chat, I don't know which one of you guys told me to build this thing to go off-roading, but that was a terrible idea. I hope you're happy. It doesn't have the ground clearance. It doesn't have the horsepower. It doesn't have the tires. Literally, I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. Sorry. Sorry. Coming through. Okay. Where are we even going? Hello? <laughs> I told you the car is a little sus like this. All right. There's the finish line across the line. I think before we go any further with the fermenter, and we should try... The Taviscan. Apparently, there is new customization for it. The Taviscan is an all-wheel drive, all-electric, 335 horsepower. What's the kind way to say this? Boat. You can go to the motor and battery section and upgrade your horsepower, and you can toss in a 670 horsepower motor. If you back out of the motor and battery, you can go to conversion, and then you can swap your battery to a 600 horsepower version is that the mission r battery okay wait and then you can upgrade this even more oh my god a thousand two hundred horsepower baby that's like the most confusing thing i've ever seen but well done developers the missionary is a fantastic vehicle what the hell is that arrow no that's not it how about the rear one no <laughs> If we can actually toss in the Mission R battery, then we've got to do what the Mission R was good at, which was drifting. All right, we need some thick boys. 305 in the front and the rear. Very nice. And then I better be able to put on drift suspension or I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm so disappointed and my day is ruined. I have to do rally suspension because that gives me more ground clearance. I'm I'm actually so annoyed. You have no idea. Yeah, I've got a thousand horsepower, 3000 pounds, doesn't matter. It's not gonna work. I love how my title for yesterday's video was, this new feature is amazing. And today my title is gonna be something along the lines of, biggest letdown in Forza history. I'm willing to go out on a limb and say, I think this would have been in the top 10 drift cars in Forza Horizon 5 if it actually had drift suspension. All right, let's paint it white so it looks like a Model Y. Very good. Let's just get the misery out of the way immediately. Why don't we go head to head with the Porsche Mission R? 196,000 points is the score to beat. Let's give it a go. I'm just saying, if by some miracle this car actually gets a new personal best, I'm going to look like the biggest moron on the planet. Send it into the drift zone, baby! Okay, keep going, keep going. Oh, nice start. Oh, nice start. Snap back. Nice, nice, nice. But how is this working? Oh, and there it is. There it is. No drift suspension be like. Ah, I'm losing key points. I honestly, I do not even know how that was possible to get that on the first attempt like that. Like, that was pretty impressive. It's not going to be possible for this thing to just continuously do that. It just doesn't have the drift suspension. So you can't hold massive angle because this... No. 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 No! Oh my god! I've just decided... That I don't like the Cupra Taviscan. And I shall drive the Fermenter again. Because that at least makes me feel good about myself. I shall turn this into a drift car. Because apparently that's just what Twitch chat wants. We shall toss on drift suspension. Things that make me very happy. And I'm going to show you what you can do with a proper car. If this can beat my personal best. I am a god gamer and you need to subscribe. If it doesn't, I will give two Twitch subs away. Alright, there are many hands in the chat. This is, this is good. Come on, Cupra. Come on. How is it so grippy? How is it so grippy? And then suddenly it's not grippy. Why? What is this car? 
Okay, there, 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 there. Ha ha! Got it, got it. Crack the case. Crack the case. Okay, big brain. Big brain. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the grip, but it feels extremely difficult to control. How am I going to get 200,000 points on this? Okay, 100. Yes, 190. 190. You all must legally subscribe to the channel and call me a god gamer. And that's why the Cooper Taviscan needs drift suspension.